Live. What's up, YouTube Revolution? Zomfecta Gaming 349 at your fingertips. Just before we start breaking down the gameplay screenshots of Far Cry 6, first thing you're gonna want to do is make sure you subscribe. And to get this seen by more people, I'm gonna need you, fellow viewer, to go to your local store in your neighborhood and show up without your mask and tell them to subscribe to Zomfecta Gaming 349. And if they tell you to leave because you don't have a mask on. Tell them that you insist that they subscribe or else you're going to start zomfecting everyone in that store and they will have no choice but to subscribe since this is the proper way to help grow my channel. And ding that bell icon really hard so I can always stay with and fast reach at your fingertips when new uploads arrive. And also, if you guys didn't know, Far Cry 6 releases on October 7th of 2021 just exactly two months before the release of Dying Light 2, which releases on December 7th, 2021, which is the exact day Pearl Harbor got bombed back in December 7th, 1941, during World War II. Just another 20 more years, and that will be its 100-year anniversary. But let's get back to topic on the gameplay of Far Cry 6, and let's break it down. This screenshot right here must be taken on top of a rooftop in Esperanza, Yara, the capital city of Yara, which is obviously probably heavily inspired by Havana, Cuba, and it actually looks exactly like the way it looked when I looked at Havana, Cuba. It was beautiful when I went to Havana, Cuba back in 2014, so yeah, I like this picture a lot too. And next up we get a picture of the gun called the Val. The VAL. It looks really nice in this game. I gotta say the graphics of this game just looks damn good. And also this right here is gonna give a lot of people some Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War vibes and some Call of Duty World War 2 vibes because it's a PPSH which is really awesome that we get another World War 2 type gun in this game just like how we got to the MP40 in Far Cry 5. It looks really good. I'm actually pretty happy that they put this in here. And also this screenshot was just taking a second after the other one. This one is showing of the Molotov that got thrown at the tank and just wow look at the detail of the sparks as it ignites when it hits the tank. It's just wow. I'm happy that they're actually putting in all the detail in this game. And next up we get a nice look at this minigun type weapon also and it just looks pretty good also too. Like they got some pretty rad weapons in this game and then just look at that up there too. Like we get to probably parkour our ways up that. It's going to give me some like vibes of dying light up on these uh, rooftops. Like just wow. Now for a really fun one, we got the disc launcher weapon, which is really fun, and look at just the detail on it, you can just see it say CDR on it, the burnt CDs, the, for um, uh, music, people burn music onto these CDs, like holy, just look at that, look at that detail right there, you can literally see every single disc in there. And this is where it gets really wacky with some crazy over-the-top weaponry, like we're getting into full-on just cause here, like, th like it moves into third person view as you shoot these rockets out like this is crazy like of of the craziness like i don't know what else to say i'm speechless what to say and next up we get our very first look at one of the new snipers in the game you're gonna get some crazy call of duty warzone players definitely quick scoping no scoping clutching it like yeah they're definitely gonna go crazy with these for sure and after shooting one of those rocket things off your back, this is what exactly happens. You shoot the rocket and then it switch back into first person view and yeah, th you're getting yourself a first person just cause game pretty much right here. Yep, it's a third person just cause. And here we get a look at our companion puppy Chorizo, I think I believe it was called. Um, yep, and then there's uh, Chorizo can be used as a distraction. So there's Chorizo right there. He's distracting the enemy so you can make some really cool stealth kills and watch like look just look at how crazy these stealth kills are. I'm so happy that they went back to the stealth kills being um, uh, knife takedowns or you know machete takedowns. Just look how like brutal that is. I'm so glad that they did that. And there's Chorizo. You can pet Chorizo just like in Far Cry 5. And just look at the blood on um, Danny's hands, like the, the blood right there is 
just wow like like they put detail in there like he he didn't even have that blood on his hands before he took those uh took that guy down now here we are on an oil rig refinery by the looks of it this place can definitely blow up like look over there you can see that that thing's on fire it's gonna be big explosions and of course you can smoke cigars in the game and also you can heal yourself with the cigar too by burning your wound with it next up we got hijacking a tank and that's right you can hijack a tank in this game just look at the guy's reaction in there he's like oh no yep ah there you go there he is he's getting stabbed yep this game has no shortage of knife takedowns like i'm so glad that they brought these knife takedowns back i'm just overly excited because of the knife takedowns they're amazing guys Next up is another vehicle takedown takeover type thing. Like we got like the strongest machete here. It's going like literally like right through his helmet. Like look at that on the other side. You could just see that. And we're just kicking the guy out with style. This is like GTA with style. Hopefully GTA 6. Well, this is Far Cry 6. Maybe GTA 6 could do this too. And next for the Call of Duty lovers, you're going to love this because look at the sniper. You can actually see from all sides. It's no longer black on all sides. You can literally see everything is all clear. And here comes the Gators. They're back in Far Cry 6. Easily one of my biggest fears and pet peeves in Far Cry 3. These things gave me heart attacks on Far Cry 3. Like, oh man. Oh no, Far Cry 6 is going to give me the jump scares, guys. Just be prepared to see that on the channel. You're going to have a lot of laughs when this game comes out. You're going to see me jumping. I hope you guys can see my reaction to those. But on the brighter side, we can at least have an alligator as our friend. Thank God these are in the game. They are a fang for hire, so we can take them out whenever we want when we recruit this thing of course or tame it or you know uh, whenever we get it in the game and i hope i get it soon because i need one of these because so they can stop the other gators from attacking me this screenshot just gives me so much vietnam war type vibes and stuff just because of the flamethrower and just the the way the jungle warfare looks and you know all the fire it just reminds me of napalm and all that stuff too like look how far out that fire goes like wow like look at all the fire over there that's very well detailed and also we got ourselves a firework launcher about to take down a helicopter in the distance and more dying light parkour-ish type craziness out in the background and then also there's the sunset and there's the helicopter getting taken down wow just look at that and next up we got ourselves an intersection in the game and it very much looks like a very much communist state martial law that we're getting and we also got Anton Castillo on the TV in the middle of public and this picture screams Nam to me of course once again it gives me more Vietnam War type vibes just look at all the beautiful like views and jungle-ish type stuff like there's gonna be a lot of great views to take in on this game and here we get a nice look at the skyscraper, the tallest building in all of Esperanza Yara. This place is most likely where uh, Anton Castillo holds up. And you never know, there might be one of those cliches where he falls off the building. Like every single villain at the end of each game. Where every villain always falls to their death off of a building. But no, I'm not going to assume that, you know, there could be something better than that. I, I like those cliches. They're kind of funny, I gotta say. I am not faulting those. And next up, we get ourselves a really nice nighttime shot of a helicopter with a searchlight searching probably most likely for resistance members. And I gotta say, these helicopters look better than the Far Cry 5 helicopters. And next up, we get a look at some battlefield-like destruction. We get destruction of trees. As you can see, this tree right here is about to fall over. And in this shot right here, you'll see that the tree is actually fallen over. Also, we get a nice look at the oil rig refinery again. And also to the left is a really beautiful sunset. Reminds me a lot of Red Dead Redemption 2 type sunsets. And gives me vibes of Guarma from Red Dead Redemption 2. Which is the fictional Cuba in 
Red Dead Redemption 2, but in Far Cry 6, it's Yara. And next up, we get our playable protagonist hero, Danny Rojas, the male version and the female version. It's your choice. You pick male or female, and both of them, they look noticeably actually pretty nice. I gotta say, the man is handsome and the woman's pretty nice, too, version of, of uh, you know, Danny Rojas. They're both pretty cool. Um, not gay, obviously, but, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd like to say that both, you know, are great. Like, I, like I'm just, just pointing that out, people. I'm glad that we play as good-looking characters in our games. Because, you know, I don't want to play as a character that I am not attached to. So, when I play Watch Dogs Legion, I always make sure that my character looks great. And next up we get more Vietnam War type style vibes because we get a classic M16 from the Vietnam War era which is in the 1960s and it looks pretty great too. And these next three screenshots are possibly a third person version of the game but I think we can only do it at our home base where we walk around in third person because I saw this in the trailer where it looked like we were walking around in third person. So could this mean that we're able to walk around in third person while at our base or something? And this picture gives me a lot of Red Dead Redemption 2 like vibes. Like look at the detail in the horse. Like you can see the muscles in the horse. It's Red Dead Redemption 2 details. And of course there's so many diverse places in this game. Like look at the way like the environment looks in the background. Like we're going to be able to traverse like so many different places like even that background back there like it's obviously a uh, part of probably Esperanza or maybe maybe some sort of town or something I don't know more Vietnam vibes this tank this is quite a crazy looking tank like look at that you don't really get to drive tanks like these in very many open world games like I'm so excited to actually drive a tank like this in the game the last time I ever remember driving a tank this probably crazy would probably be in either one of the Just Cause games or a game from 2008 called Mercenaries because this game is actually giving me vibes back to a game called Mercenaries also this game is like a mix of so many different games it's beyond unbelievable this tank is gonna cause so much destruction I'm so excited I hope games like GTA 6 can raise the bar even higher than this since Rockstar is very well known for raising the bar in their games because looks like Ubisoft is actually raising the bar with the Far Cry franchise also, we got ourselves some table mini games. We got here is Dominoes. We can play Dominoes in this game. It actually really reminds me of the playing mini games in Far Cry 3 because we could play poker in that. And then in Red Dead Redemption 1, we could also do that too. And Red Dead Redemption 2. This actually reminds me of when in Red Dead Redemption 2, you could um, uh, play uh, with the gang members at the camp um, with the main characters from the main story in Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm expecting it to possibly the, be the exact same way possibly with the main characters. You could possibly be playing dominoes, maybe poker or something with the uh, main characters throughout the Far Cry 6 main story. Now that would be pretty cool. And next, we got ourselves some possible car customization by the looks of it. Like crazy in-depth car customization. Can we actually literally put NOS into our vehicle? Like nitrous boost? Like in Watch Dogs 2, we could actually boost our cars in this game. Now that's pretty sick. Now by the looks of that, yeah, that's some crazy Fast and Furious type stuff that you can do right there. This next picture kind of reminds me a little bit of the jungles from Far Cry 2 also too, and also a bit of Vietnam War style type stuff too, and also it actually gives me vibes of Guarma from Red Dead Redemption 2, and I also like the um, god rays of the sun beaming through those, um, the trees, uh, the palm trees, it looks really great. This game's lighting looks just great. It's gonna, definitely going to look like a true great next gen game when I'm playing on uh, PS5. We got a really nice picture of Danny driving around possibly Esperanza Yara. And of course a really nice background. Very diverse environments in this game. This screams Red Dead Redemption 2 detailed horse to me for sure too. Like look at the polka dots on the horse. Like that looks so good. You can see the muscles like I said earlier. And of course you can pet the horse. It looks exactly like Red Dead Redemption 2 first person view. It's just Oh my god, this is great, guys. 
And w what is this, guys? Can we seriously ride in third person on the horse? Because this part shows that we were actually riding third person on the horse. I don't know if that's part of the trailer or not, but if that's the case, don't get too hyped up, guys. I'm not saying that's third person in the game, but if there is, and that's freaking awesome if we can ride our horses in third person. It's going to look like Red Dead Redemption 2, but set in the modern day. And we have now come to our last two pictures. This is tank gameplay. Look at the destruction that you can cause, and look at all the fire. Look at that fireball right there, too. Like, holy crap. Like, this is going to be crazy. What are we going to do? I can already see myself going around Esperanza, just bombing the bleep out of, like, you know, Castillo's men. Like, oh, man, this is... I, I, I'm having so much fun. I don't even know what to say. You know what? If, if you guys probably thought that some of the stuff I said in this video was a little bit kind of silly and crazy, you know, it's because I'm kind of speechless. I'm just coming up with my own things I want to say and stuff too because, you know, it looks really fun. And I these are the kind of games I really like. I'm a sandbox kind of game. And this brings us to the conclusion of our Far Cry 6 gameplay breakdown video. So... Um, this game actually reminds me of a lot of different games by the looks of it. It reminds me of a game called Mercenaries 2 World in Flames, the Just Cause games, of course. You know, Grand Theft Auto at times too, and also Red Dead Redemption 2. Like, that's so many games put into one. Like, this game is amazing. It looks so good. Like, um, but I don't want to keep the video going on any longer because this video has been going on for quite a long time. And you guys probably have somewhere to go or, you know, whatever you guys are doing, going about your day. But, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, ding that bell icon really hard so I can always stay within fast reach at your fingertips, and Zomfected Gaming 349 over and out. <laughs>